Okay guys, so next you need to know about salt hydrolysis. So basically you kena tahu salt tu apa, hydrolysis tu apa. Okay, salt ni dia akan terhasil bila asid dengan base tu reacts. Okay, di mana proses neutralization tu akan berlaku lah. Contohnya kalau you ada asid, you reactkan dia dengan base, makanya dia akan menghasilkan salt plus water. Okay, hydrolysis tu apa pula? Hydrolysis ni bila kita hydrolyze the salt tersebut. If let's say this is the salt yang kita maksudkan, yang kita pentingkan ni. Okay, kalau kita further hydrolyzekan dia, dia akan hasilkan apa? Okay, so macam mana kita nak hydrolyzekan dia salt? Uh, makanya kita akan reactkan lah salt ni dengan water molecules. Therefore, nanti the product of the hydrolysis of the salt, dia akan menghasilkan sama ada H plus ataupun OH minus. And then there are three types of salts where we have neutral salts, basic salts and uh, acidic salts. Okay? Uh, okay. If let's say if you have a neutral salt, the pH of this salt will be equals to 7. Contoh neutral salt ialah NaCl. NaCl lah. Contohnya kalau you ada NaCl bermaksud you gunakan uh, acid HCl. Uh, base and AOH uh, kiranya it is a reaction between strong base dengan strong acid yang akan menghasilkan neutral salt tersebut ok and then next uh, if let's say you are the basic salt uh, this salt will be the pH will be more than 7 contohnya ialah CH3COONA ok di mana Kalau let's say you gunakan weak acid, campurkan dengan strong base, you akan menghasilkan basic salt. Okay. For example, if let's say you gunakan weak acid CH3COOH, you gunakan strong base NaOH, uh, so you akan hasilkan basic salt. And lastly is acidic salt, di mana salt ni yang akan dihasilkan after process neutralization, the pH will be less than 7. Eh, benda ni berlaku bila you gunakan strong acid dengan weak base. Okay. Uh, so, for example, if let's say you ada uh, strong acid HCl, weak base and H3, makanya the salt yang akan diproduce adalah NH4Cl. Okay, ni sebagai contoh sahaja. Tapi generally, neutral salt, dia terhasil uh, bila you gunakan strong acid dengan strong base. Okay. Uh, basic salt pula dia terhasil bila you gunakan strong base and weak acid. Uh, acidic salt pula dia terhasil bila you gunakan weak base and strong acid. Okay. Macam mana nak, nak tahu strong ataupun weak acid, strong acid ataupun weak base and whatsoever tu. Itulah pasalnya. Miss Ru get yourself familiarize. Okay. Sebab the example will always not be the same like this. It can be anything uh, yang diletak kat sini, it can be anything tapi you kena tahu lah is it a strong base ke, is it a weak base, is it a strong acid ataupun weak acid sebab you nak tahu salt apa yang akan dihasilkan. Okay? Okay guys, so now I want to explain further about salt hydrolysis and equation yang terlibat dalam salt hydrolysis. So I want to make it short here. Uh, the only salt yang akan buat salt hydrolysis hanyalah acidic salt dengan basic salt. Kita ada tiga jenis salt kan? Macam mana you tahu salt ni terhasil? Salt ni terhasil bila acid campurkan dengan base dalam proses neutralization dia akan menghasilkan salt plus water. Okay? So I want you to focus at this type of salt. Kalau dia neutral salt, dia tak akan further hydrolyze in water. For example, if you have neutral salts, neutral salts ni dia terhasil macam mana? Is when the acid yang you gunakan ialah strong, base yang you gunakan pun strong, makanya dia akan menghasilkan neutral salt. Okay? So, for example, if let's say you are the strong acid HCl, strong base and your H, makanya dia akan menghasilkan neutral salt NaCl. For example, if we have neutral salt NaCl, okay, kalau you nak tahu dia buat hydrolysis ke tidak, you kena dissociate dahulu the salt. Okay, for example, in this case, you have NaCl salt. 
So you dissociate sahaja NaCl salt ni completely dahulu. Bila dia dissociate completely, maka ni dia akan menghasilkan Na plus and also Cl minus. So both of these ions Na plus dengan Cl minus ni tak boleh hydrolyze in water molecule. Okay. So next, let's go for basic salts. Basic salts ni terhasil sebab apa? Kalau let's say you neutralize between uh -oh, weak acid plus strong base. Ah, Kalau weak acid, strong base, makanya you akan dapat basic salt. Okay? Okay, for example, if we have a weak acid, CH3COH, uh, strong base, uh, NaOH, makanya you akan menghasilkan basic salt, CH3COONA. For example lah, kalau you ada basic salt, CH3COONA, macam mana you nak tahu dia punya salt hydrolysis? Okay, first thing first, apa yang you kena buat ialah you need to dissociate the salt completely dahulu. Okay, macam mana you nak dissociate dia completely? Daripada CH3COONA, dia akan jadi CH3COO- dengan Na+. So, this is actually the salt dissociation equation untuk basic salt. Okay, you pecahkan sajalah between CH3COO dengan Na ni. Okay, so sekarang you tengok dekat produk dia. Dia ada Na+, dengan CH3COO-. Kalau Na+, ni, you tak boleh hydrolyzekan dia. The one that you can hydrolyze ialah CH3COO- Kenapa you boleh hydrolyzekan CH3COO- Because, okay, for example, kalau you gunakan weak acid CH3COOH kan? ha. uh, Bila dia dissociate, you dissociate CH3COOH ni Dia akan menghasilkan conjugate base CH3COO- How do you know dia menghasilkan conjugate base H3CO- is because bila acid dia dissociate partially in water, um, dia akan donate proton. So, dia akan menghasilkan H3CO- as the conjugate base. So, basically, H3CO- ni ialah conjugate base. Conjugate base untuk siapa? Conjugate base untuk this weak acid H3COOH. Kan mereka kan berpasangan bila dia buat dissociation. Partially in water. Okay, so sekiranya, the only thing yang boleh diso, uh, yang boleh hydrolyze um, after you dah dissociate the salt, the only thing yang boleh hydrolyze dekat produk ni ialah CH3COO- So, macam mana you nak buat uh, the salt hydrolysis equation? Kalau let's say the only thing yang CH3COO- ni saja yang boleh kamu hydrolyze. So, This is it. Uh, so, you buatlah C3COO- You campurkan dengan H2O. Kenapa you kena campurkan dengan H2O? Because you nak buat hydrolysis. Hydrolysis memang you kena mixkan dengan H2O molecules. So, bila C3COO- Dia mixkan dengan H2O molecules. Makanya dia akan menghasilkan uh, C3COOH. Okay, this is actually conjugate base untuk Weak acid C3COOH. Kan? Nah, lepas tu. How about this H2O? H2O dia akan jadi, dia akan form and then menjadi OH-. So, this OH- ion lah yang menyebabkan uh, kita boleh panggil C3CO and ini adalah basic salt. Sebab after dia buat further hydrolysis in water, uh, C3CO- ni kita buat further hydrolysis in water, dia menghasilkan OH-. So, this is the full equation untuk salt hydrolysis for Basic salt if given your basic salt CH3COONA. Okay, next. How about salt hydrolysis of acidic salts? Okay, macam mana you dapat acidic salts? You get acidic salts is when you use strong acid plus weak base. So, bila dia neutralize, dia akan menghasilkan salt yang garam acidic okay, plus water. Tapi, we have just to look at this acidic salt lah. For example, if let's say you use your strong acid, strong acid yang you gunakan ialah HCl, weak base yang you gunakan ialah NH3, maka ni you akan dapat acidic salt NH4Cl. Macam mana you tahu dia adalah acidic salt? Okay, it is because, okay, first thing first, this is the acidic salt kan, NH4Cl. 
Okay, macam mana awak tahu kalau let's say dia after dia buat salt hydrolysis, the product yang you dapat ialah H3O plus, that's why they ask this salt. Tapi first thing first, what you need to do, okay, this salt and H4Cl ni, you kena dissociate the salt completely dahulu. So, how can you dissociate kan dia completely, you pecahkan antara NH4 dengan Cl ni, therefore you will get NH4 plus and also Cl minus, okay. Uh, okay, kat sini Cl minus ni, after you look at dia punya product of the salt dissociation, you know that Cl minus tak boleh hydrolyze further. The only thing yang boleh hydrolyze with H2O hanyalah NH4 plus, okay. And if you look at the base yang digunakan ialah NH3, this is the weak base kan. Tapi kalau weak base ni, you dissociate partially in water, you akan menghasilkan pasangan dia conjugate acid. Because base dia akan, acid proton dia akan menghasilkan NH4+. So actually NH4+, ni ialah conjugate acid daripada weak base NH3. Okay. So that's why dia boleh hydrolyze further with water molecule. So bila this conjugate acid, uh, dia boleh hydrolyze further in water molecule, what happen is, this NH4 plus dia akan hilang proton. H2O ni dia akan accept proton dan menghasilkan H3O plus. So, this H3O plus lah, this H3O plus daripada salt hydrolysis equation ni lah yang uh, menentukan dia adalah acidic salt. Yang NH4 plus ni adalah uh, acidic salt. Okay, so this is it. The salt hydrolysis equation. Uh, if let's say you add the acidic salt NH4Cl.